I'm really quite pleased to be a part of this program because for three years or a little more, I was on the production staff at WBAP and feel quite an affinity for this station. Also, of course, I was director of the North Texas Band for 12 years during its formative stages. That's another way of saying that we had growing pains, and we did have growing pains, but I think that when you listen to this band here, you will think that we grew in the right direction. When this program started in 1947, we had eight special arrangements and 60 stock arrangements. Well, you can imagine how that sounded. Actually, at the time, we thought we had a pretty good band, and we did have a fair band for those days. As time went on, however, we began to get better arrangements better musicians came to school, there began to be more competition for the chairs. As a result, the band began to be sharper, a cleaner, a more modern unit, and before long we began to be quite a respectable unit. Now this band is a culmination of eight more years of hard work, planning, and the efforts of countless excellent musicians. Actually, Mr. Breeden has sweated blood and tears over this program, as I did before him. But I think Mr. Breeden will agree that the real credit belongs to the guys in the band who really are excellent players and make the whole thing possible. My hat goes off to these guys and others like them who are really the, some of the finest musicians in the whole country. This is Leon Breeden with a slight addition to Gene Hall's uh, comments here to explain that the comments he has just made were sent to me from Michigan State University upon my request when we were to feature uh, for two s consecutive Saturday afternoons on Channel 5 in Fort Worth a show called The Lab Band Story and I was asking Gene, this was 1966 by the way in fact uh, <clears throat> I'm looking at a letter dated April 21st, 1966, asking Gene if he could send some things to me, including this tape. And so I can't remember the exact date, but it was in May sometime of 66, I think, that we ended up uh, doing the show. And the first Saturday was, I believe, a 30-minute color cast that featured the early days and Gene's part and so forth. Then the second Saturday was another... 30 minutes that went on into uh, newer things that we were doing at the time. I wanted to put that on there by way of explanation when he says the band you're about to hear. He was talking about our band. It was just about to play because we did after his comments. The band was featured live on the, uh, I say live, it was actually filmed, but we were in the studios making the tape uh, that was to be presented on the air. This is just explanation. I'm making this. I ran across this old reel-to-reel -reel tape, a five-inch tape, and it was about to deteriorate with time, so I thought I'd put it on this cassette and uh, put it in the archives for the comments that he made. I thought they were quite important and uh, should be included in their entirety. With time limitations, we were not able to use all of his comments, but we did use a portion of that tape on the broadcast itself. Okay, I just wanted to add that explanation uh, to make it more clear what was being referred to in those comments by Dr. Emmy Jean Hall. I started to say this is 1983 as I'm preparing these uh, cassettes for the archives to be placed in the North Texas Library with hopes that someday someone will care enough to possibly listen back.